It seems like every time you turn on the television, there is another mass shooting, and all too often at a school targeting our children, the most innocent among us. As a mother, I'm worried. I know that many of you feel the same. In just the last year, we have lost far too many. Now, if you stop right here, you might get the idea that she might actually have some sort of epiphany about gun control. But just wait until you hear what she has to say about it. In Uvalde, Texas, 21 people were killed, including 19 children. We're shortly coming up on that one year anniversary. In Nashville, Tennessee, six innocents lost their lives, three of them nine-year-olds. The faces of these beautiful children are imprinted on my heart. Like many parents in this country, I wake up in the middle of the night thinking about these families and praying for them. I cannot conceive of the depths of their pain. As Americans, we need to have an open, honest discussion about how to protect our children tomorrow, not decades from now, tomorrow. Is this it? Is this the moment that she actually decides that we need to do something about the massive gun problem that exists in the United States? What is the real practical solution? What would actually save lives? Republican talk of mental health has merit, but how do you fix this legislatively? It's hard to think about. It seems nearly impossible to fix the human heart or the human mind from the halls of Congress. And as for the drumbeat for gun control, let's say, just in theory, that you abolish the Second Amendment and ban guns entirely. That would fix precisely nothing. Really? So it's just impossible then. It's just impossible. So she admits here that, well, you know, Republicans say they want to do something about mental health care, but let's be clear, they don't actually want to do anything to provide like, you know, universal mental health care for people or any sort of community support system. So obviously it's not going to work if they don't have any real intention of putting forward real solutions. But then of course, gun control is obviously not going to help anything because as we know, it definitely hasn't worked in other countries before like Australia, for example, where they did that? Couldn't possibly be. We just have to take that off the table. So if you take mental health care off the table, you take gun control off the table, what exactly is left? There are currently more than 390 million guns in this country. And even if you did try to confiscate them, all you would succeed in doing is creating a black market for criminals and rob the innocent of self-protection. The November 2015 terrorist attacks in Paris, for example, left 130 dead and injured more than 400. Get this, that attack in France was waged with so-called military-grade weapons that were illegal under French law. Now, notice how she had to go back to 2015 to find an example from France, and she only had to go back to a few weeks ago to find an example from the United States? Is that possibly have something to do with the gun control measures that exist in France? Could it possibly be a factor? Maybe if we look at the number of mass shootings that happen in other countries versus the United States, we can see that there's a pretty significant difference in how often they're happening. No, of course not. She has no interest in making any actual sense. All she wants to do is protect gun manufacturers from any type of legal scrutiny and any type of dent in their profits. So she says that it wouldn't do anything to actually put in place gun control. But let's really dive into this because her proposed solution coming up here in a second actually reveals something about why she thinks people should be able to have guns in the first place. And that is not the only example. So how can we make a difference, not in theory, but in fact? In the wake of the Uvalde massacre, I was walking through a mall. I passed the Tiffany store. There was an armed guard, diamonds protected. Then I walked past the Louis Vuitton store. Purses, well, they're protected too. Are our children not worth more than the diamonds and purses? Surely they are. So why not secure their schools the same way we do with our meaningless material goods? There's no good answer to that question. Okay, this is the most unhinged and shameless thing she could possibly say. She literally said right after Uvalde, she saw an armed guard at a jewelry store and thought that that would be the brilliant solution to protect children. Oh, golly gee, what a great idea. If only there were literally dozens of armed people at the school in Uvalde when the shooting was happened. Oh, wait, that's right. There literally were. The police officers were such cowards that they didn't want to go in. And so this actually reveals what is fundamentally at the core of the Republican ideology, and that is 
cowardice. It is not that they want innocent people to have guns to protect themselves, is that they are such weasley little cowards that they need a gun to feel safe because they do not trust anybody else around them. They live these incredibly isolated lives, living in this weird main character syndrome where they think they're the only person that matters. And that, to them, of course, is why they personally need a gun, because clearly the world is out to get them. They're John Rambo. They're the main character, you see. And that's why it's so important for them to have a gun. But at the end of the day, it is just fundamentally cowardice that rests at the base of that. That is why their solution is always to send police at everything. That's why they don't want to do anything, even in terms of mental health, like what they say would fix all of the problems. They don't actually want to put in place all the care networks that are required to make sure that people are doing well. They don't want to make sure that there's actually community systems to keep people safe. All they want to do is to be able to call a man with a gun whenever they feel unsafe to point that gun at somebody they don't like. That is it, period, stop. It is not about protecting children. These Republicans don't care about the lives of children, and we've seen that time and time again. All they care about is their own personal insecurity. So no, this is just ridiculous nonsense. It is Republicans pretending to care about the lives of children and proposing things that already exist so that they don't have to actually do anything. Because, I hate to break it to Fox News here, but we already have armed people that are theoretically guarding schools, and they are already failing with great regularity. Uvalde was not an exception. Uvalde was very much the rules. It turns out that armed security officers are not super great at stopping mass shooters. A lot of them turn out to be cowards, much like the cowards who demand guns for themselves because they're afraid of their neighbors.